The constant drive for irrigators to become more efficient with their irrigation has seen many of them adopt benchmarking methods in the industry to compare individual water use and crop yields within regions and against industry averages. Sean Boland from Moree is one of those irrigators. We find benchmarking is pretty important in, in trying to make get the best value out of the water we have in terms of you know trying to produce the most from it and make the most out of that water and also it's very important in us trying to uh, improve our systems and, and working out where those improvements need to occur and, and where we'll get the best best returns from making improvements. What are some of the practices that you're doing at the moment then? Um, in terms of benchmarking we we're always trying to record you know uh, the water we're using um, on our crops and, and, and how much we get back out of those crops. Um, also we're using benchmarking to compare the various irrigation systems we have and how well they're operating and how efficient they are compared to each other. How valuable was the benchmarking workshop that you attended today? Now it was very good in terms of uh, just re-familiarising myself with some of the indices and, and some of the stuff we're trying to record and, and highlighting the, import, the areas that are important to record record and, and keep a record of in order to get the best out of these indices that we're trying to compare and um, just uh, highlighted how to manage some of those records. What would be some of the things then that you took away from today? Um, I think just the importance of standardising your, your measurements of your records and, and how you're taking those records in order to keep your comparisons um, accurate and relative from one farm to the next and from one season to the next.